What's up everybody? So I'm here at Foreign Cars Italia taking a look at this beautiful 2015 Alfa Romeo 4C Launch Edition. I'd like to give a huge thank you to Foreign Cars for allowing me to come down here and make this video. And if you have any questions about their inventory, their contact information is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our Facebook page. At the heart of this vehicle is a 1.7 liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine which produces 237 horsepower and 258 foot-pounds of torque. The engine is paired to a six-speed automated manual gearbox and the curb weight of the vehicle is just under 2,500 pounds and is able to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds. And the car is quite economical with a 24-34 mile per gallon rating. Starting with the front end of the vehicle, you have the traditional Alfa Romeo triangular shaped grille. And on the farther sides of the bumper, you get the functional air vents, which also help give the front end an extremely low and wide appearance. And on the side, this does have the carbon fiber mirror covers. And on the driver's side, you'll have a carbon fiber lower vent down there. Has disc brakes in all four corners, measuring 12 inches up front with 11 and a half inches in the rear. And this has the dark finished five spoke hole design wheels, measuring 18 inches up front with 19s in the rear. And the side profile of this car is very nice with some really cool curves. And the large vent behind the door handle leads to the intercooler. And then the side profile of this vehicle is extremely beautiful. And they did a great job making such a small car look really cool. And then in the rear of the car, you have the carbon fiber lip spoiler, as well as the racing exhaust. And this exhaust sounds extremely awesome, which we'll get to in just a little bit. And then in the glass hatch, you get a peek at the four-cylinder engine. And now with the key, we'll go ahead and take a look at the interior. The door panel is covered in black leather, which looks very nice all around. And you get the red color contrasting stitching as well. And you have a nice leather grip right here with the red stitching along it. And then the first thing you'll notice is the very large carbon fiber weave throughout the interior and that's all part of the carbon fiber monocoque construction. The seats are black leather with red stitching and the red Alfa Romeo logo embroidered up top. And you have black micro suede in the center, which is very nice feeling and gives you a lot of grip when taking a hard turn. And both seats have a manual recline lever as well as manual front and back. The steering wheel is also a pretty unique design only having two spokes and of course it is a flat bottom design being a sports car and you get the red stitching along the bottom with the Alcantara in the top. Once you're inside the vehicle, you're greeted by a 7-inch digital display wrapped in carbon fiber. The dash is covered in leather with more red stitching. You have your radio right here, and then all your climate control settings. And then being the launch, you also see the carbon fiber down here, different driving modes, as well as your DNA button, which is kind of different sport modes. Then your windows, you can see more of the carbon fiber. And then for storage, you do get a leather pouch back here, which is good enough for about a phone and a wallet. And then also cleverly designed, they put a leather storage pouch down here, which is good enough for maybe a tablet and another phone. And then to change your different driving modes with the DNA lever, you're just going to hold it all the way down to put it into all weather mode, hold it back up to put it into natural, and then hold it up all the way again to put it into dynamic mode. And then holding it in the up position for five seconds will engage race mode. And changing the different DNA modes will also change the digital display. All weather mode is good for when it's raining or snowing out. Natural mode is what it's going to start up always. And then you can of course switch it between automatic and manual using that button right there. And then putting it into dynamic mode is basically the sport mode button, a little bit quicker throttle response. And now we'll take a look at how this car sounds. I'll insert the key and put my foot on the brake and start it up. When you're 
inside this car it truly is something unique. You're surrounded by carbon fiber everywhere, beautiful leather seats with micro suede in the center, red stitching everywhere, more carbon fiber on the dash and down here, and it truly is a great little car. There's no power steering in this car and it really doesn't need it being such a lightweight car. And driving a car without it is very cool. You're completely connected with the road and everything you say the car does. And being that you are in control of a very powerful four-cylinder engine, it's a great car. So there you go everybody, that's the walk around of this car. This is absolutely a stunning vehicle inside and out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Foreign Cars Italia's contact information in the description below. And be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Instagram, and like our Facebook page. And I'll see you next video.